Good morning and welcome back everyone. We're off to another cool start to the day simply because the lack of clouds without the clouds to trap and heat. We're sitting at 36 degrees right now for the Medford area, 33 in Montague and just some mid 20s stretching from Klamath Falls all the way off to Lakeview. The other thing we've been watching out the past couple of days is some strong winds. Right now, though, those winds continuing to calm down. We've gotten rid of the Rogue Valley wind advisories, and right now, Medford, just seeing that three mile an hour breeze. Still, though, coming out of the north, that 12 mile an hour wind in Crescent City, stronger winds still in Sexton Summit, where that 17 mile an hour breeze, it's going to be enough to break up the fog, but also something to keep in the back of your mind for traveling on that commute to work. Satellite and radar not showing too much going on. We've got this big bubble of dry air over the Pacific Northwest, and what that is is an area of high pressure. The high pressure has been continuing to lift the moisture up and over us, but one thing that's going to stop it is as soon as this high pressure breaks off to the east, it's going to allow for this next little bit of moisture to start pushing its way across southern Oregon and northern California. Now, still seeing plenty of sunshine out there today. Clear sky overnight, even tomorrow. Keeping around a mostly clear sky. It won't be until tomorrow night that we build in the clouds. And early Friday morning by about 6 a.m., seeing a few rain showers along the coast of Coos County, also into Douglas County. Look out for some early morning rain showers. Even here into southern Oregon and northern California valleys, we're looking to be around I-5 where we see a few early morning rain showers. Those rain showers, though, expected to stay very light. In the meantime, today just bringing in lots of sunshine this afternoon for the coast and temperatures not feeling too bad. We do have an easterly component to the wind, so that means as it travels down the Checo River, Brookings, you're looking to be in the mid 60s as that warm pocket of air heads your way. The rest of us still staying mild and near 60 degrees. Northern California, lots of sunshine means a nice warm up for you as well. We're going to see those temperatures top off in the low to mid 60s today for highs. Southern Oregon's valleys today, lots of sunshine for you as well. Also calming down those winds out of the east at just 5 to 10 miles per hour. Nice warm up as we work our way to 70 degrees. To the east of the mountains, not missing up on the warming trend either. We're going to be seeing some low 60s for highs and a light southeasterly breeze. Across the mountains, lots of sunshine headed your way and in prospect, some mid 60s for highs. The coast next couple of days, we are going to continue to watch those clouds build in overnight on Thursday and during the day Friday. That's going to be when we see the next best chance for just a few light rain showers. Showers not sticking around for very long, though. We're going to see some sunshine back in the picture by the weekend. Klamath Basin, the clear sky today and tomorrow means some extremes with the temperatures. No clouds at night means a chilly next couple of nights ahead. To counter that, though, we're working our way up towards 60 degrees by Thursday. A slight chance for some showers on Friday and then mid 60s alongside sunshine for the weekend. Northern California keeping those temperatures climbing to the mid 60s thanks to the sunshine by tomorrow. A few slight chances for some clouds as we wrap up the week. Can't completely rule out a sprinkle and sunshine in 70 degrees by the weekend. Same trend out there for the Rogue Valley today and tomorrow. Go outside and enjoy some of this sunshine. It won't be until early morning Friday that we are building back in the clouds and even talking about a slight chance for a few more rain showers.